What's up, Internet? I'm Dimebot, and this is your Sanitarium.fm news update for the 24th of January, 2017. Let's kick it off today with a little news that should make Deus Ex fans happy. Adam Jensen is going to be back in a new DLC, Deus Ex Mankind Divided A Criminal Past, and boy isn't that one a mouthful. The second story DLC is going to provide players with more insight into the lore of the Deus Ex universe, allowing them to experience one of Adam Jensen's first missions for TF29. It's set before the events of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. He's going to be transferred deep into a hostile high security prison for augmented felons, and he's being sent there to track down and retrieve sensitive information from a fellow undercover agent who's gone dark. It'll be available on the 23rd of February on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and online stores. It's also part of the season pass. So there is more content coming, and I'm happy because that was a pretty good game, and I had a lot of fun with it. Moving on today, Frontier Developments, the developers behind our favorite other little space game, Elite Dangerous, have released some financial reports, and, well, things are looking good for the developer. In their financial statements, they revealed that by the end of December 2016, they've sold over 2.1 million paid franchise units of Elite Dangerous. Now, there's some debate over whether this means just the game, or if it means the game and paid add-ons like paint jobs, ship packs, things like that, but pretty sure it means actual games. 2.1 million units is a lot. This includes PC and Xbox One users, and, well, consoles not even in there fully because PlayStation 4 version of the game hadn't released, so things look good for Frontier. They had 18.1 million pounds worth of revenue for the six months ending November 30th, 2016, so for a developer that size, that is extremely healthy and means we should see a lot more continued development for Elite Dangerous and hopefully some more franchises like Planet Coaster getting some love. Finally up today, guys, well, you may have noticed that there's no PC release date for Friday the 13th. There is a good reason for that, why it still has the early 2017 release date. It's actually the console certification processes. They don't want to put a release date on until they're sure that they're going to pass the console certification process, and, well, there's some problems with that. Taking a look at Sony, there's a certification process for each region. SCEA, SCEE, SCEJ, and Sony Asia. That's a little ridiculous. Console makers, can you please get your shit together? There's also some other dumb stuff, like Microsoft requires the game has some kind of Kinect support, even though I don't think anybody even owns a Kinect for the damn thing, and it has to work with voice commands and allow players to run it while using other apps. I'm so glad we don't have to deal with this stuff on the PC, but... The certification processes do need to be fixed because I have a feeling this has delayed more games than we actually know about. So, keep an eye on Friday the 13th. Really, what they're doing is not trying to disappoint fans by giving a concrete date and then failing a cert process and having to work for three extra months to fix everything. Hopefully, they get it together because the game looks pretty interesting. Alright guys, that is going to do it for me today. Be sure to head over to www.sanitarium.fm for more news, more articles, more music, and yes, more awesome. I'm Dimebot. See you tomorrow.